Hello everybody, what's up? It's Nico's Tree House. How's your day going? This morning, we were just going to the Vancouver Zoo. It is the very first time that we just visited the Vancouver Zoo. I think it was a pretty, pretty nice experience for us. We started the trip very early this morning. Um, we just left home around uh, 9 a.m. and uh, it spent like one hour to, to get to the Vancouver Zoo. I think for one way it's, uh, it's about 32 kilometers when we just travel from Burnaby. Um, when we were just arriving there, some parents say to their children to get there. Because when I lived in Toronto City, I've invited the Toronto Zoom for like uh, three times. It was very close to my place. It only took like 20 minutes to get to the Toronto Zoom. So I had a, a lot of chance to visit that zoo. For this time, it's like a comparative experience to visit Vancouver Zoo. I think for me, Vancouver Zoo is more like a um, wide safari. It feels more spacious. I mean, the surroundings is like it's about a lot of uh, plants. I think the manager for the Vancouver Zoo they just want to maintain the wide aspect for the zoo. And Somehow they just make the animals live in very very spacious space. And it can be either a good thing or a bad thing because they like uh, just with the zoom. The weather today is kind of gloomy. It's not a, it's not very sunny. And I think some for some wild animals they just hide in there, just uh, just hide somewhere. So we didn't even have a chance to wait, witness the animals. So I think if they make the Living space is more crowded, so probably there is just more chance for the villagers to see the animals. And just by the chance, I just witnessed some kind of a unique creature, which is called Mara. It looks like a rabbit, but very gigantic. The fur looks like a coyote with brownish and some dark spot on it. It looks pretty unique. I think it's originally from Africa. I think I just like a kind of animal which is called the capybara. It's originally from the South America and uh, it lives in the lives in the pond and uh, close to the water. And uh, people always say the capybara is somehow looks like a gigantic guinea pig. And, and uh, it just happened I like guinea pig as well. So I think uh, capybara looks very calm, looks very gentle. I think if I'm gonna choose if there's any kind of a spirit animals connect to me, I think a capybara could be the one. And I um, also find the the mini horse is very cute and the flamingo is very looks very pretty. Yeah I think um, for the furthest time um, I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't find the hypo. Probably just hide it in the water or somewhere. And uh, I think Vancouver Zoo is a very good place for the parents to let them children to play with them, to enjoy the pleasure of the family reunion. And I also think it's a very good place for the couple who is going to date each other. And I think dating does not have to be happening in the cinema. I mean, the Vancouver Zoo could be a good option as well. You guys have a good day.